Hey folks, in today's video, I'm gonna be walking through an AI tool that allows you to enter a simple text prompt and then output an entire video in a matter of seconds. I've been playing around with this AI tool for the last couple of weeks, and I've been able to type in absolutely anything like create a sports motivational video to inspire people, and then this AI video editor will script the video, create voiceover, generate subtitles, and even search through a database of over 16 million stock media files to make a completely faceless video in just a few minutes. The tool is called InVideo AI and they've kindly sponsored this video and the even cooler thing is that you can get started with InVideo AI for free right now by using the link in the description below. And then you can follow along with this video where I'm going to be screen sharing and doing a practical walkthrough of how my team has been using InVideo to create faceless social media content and fun tutorials so that you can build out your own faceless YouTube channel or Instagram account that generates you passive income while you sleep. So hit that subscribe button and let's dive right in. Okay, so welcome to my InVideo AI dashboard. Now, as you can see, this is really nice and minimalist. And one thing I just wanna to say to begin with is that I am upgraded on the Plus subscription, which means I get access to some of the newer AI tools and also have more storage in my account and I'm able to export in more formats than you might see on the free version. Now, with that being said, we can still do lots on the free account, but with my Plus subscription, we can do even more. And that's what I wanna show you today. So if we look around the dashboard to begin with, we can see I've got the media library on the left, which shows anything that I want to upload. So if I've got my own footage that I want to add to InVideo, I can upload it from here. And we've also got my history, such as some of the videos that I've been playing around with in the past, like this motivational sports video that I used when I first started using InVideo. Now, what I want to walk you through is exactly how we can create our own AI video in a matter of minutes. So to do so, we just head over to create AI video and we'll then see that we can select from one of three different workflows. We've got YouTube Shorts, YouTube Explainer, and recent events video. And I'll go through each of these in turn. We can also just start typing in any topic we like and then hit the generate video button. So for example, I might type in something like children's toys and then hit generate. And even with a very minimalist prompt, InVideo AI will start working and thinking and will then generate an output based on what I've put in. We can see here as it's working its magic, it actually thinks up a title for the video, in this case, Top Children's Toys of 2023. And then when it's thought about that and built out a simple script, a box then pops up, asking me to add in a little bit more relevance and flavor to what the prompt is going to be. So in this case, I need to set my audience and they've decided that an audience might be parents, toy enthusiasts or children. So for me, I'm gonna select parents and then it asks me to set the look and feel of the video. So for this one, I want it to be nice and bright, but I could also select pop or inspiring. And for the platform, I'm gonna select YouTube. I'm then gonna hit continue and we can see that this may take a few minutes, but it will then generate this video and will then be able to export it or edit it. Okay, and we can see that using stock footage and voiceover, InVideo has created a children's toy video that I could share on a faceless YouTube channel. Let's take a look at what it's produced. To start, consider Building Blocks the classic toy that has stood the test of time. Blocks offer an excellent way for children to learn about shapes, sizes, and spatial relationships. They encourage problem solving as children figure out how to stack them without toppling over. Moreover, Blocks can even introduce early math concepts such as counting, addition, and subtraction. Next on the list, we have puzzles. Puzzles are fantastic for developing a child's cognitive skills. They challenge children to think, reason, and develop solutions, skills that will serve them well in school and beyond. Puzzles also help with hand-eye coordination and fine motor skills. Now let's not forget about art supplies. Crayons, markers, and paints, oh my! Art supplies stimulate a child's creativity and imagination. They also develop fine motor skills and can even be a great way to learn about colors and shapes. And last but not least, we have role-playing toys. These could be anything from a pretend kitchen to a doctor's kit. Role-playing toys help children understand the world around them, develop social skills, and learn about different roles and professions. To wrap up, children's toys are, are a crucial part 
of their development. They offer much more than just a way to pass the time. They provide opportunities for learning and development, helping children acquire important skills while they play. In summary, building blocks teach about shapes, sizes, and spatial relationships and introduce early math concepts. Puzzles develop cognitive skills, hand-eye coordination, and fine motor skills. Art supplies stimulate creativity and imagination and help with color and shape recognition. Role-playing toys help with understanding the world, social skills, and learning about different roles. Remember, every toy your child interacts with could potentially be a powerful learning tool. So the next time you see your child engrossed in play, know that they're not just having fun, they're learning valuable lessons that will equip them for the future. So this is pretty awesome. NVIDIA just using AI can create a listicle style video based on a really simple prompt. And we can see that this one's actually running for two minutes and 13 seconds, which was actually quite a lot longer than what I thought it would produce. Now we can then do a couple of things. If we're completely happy with this video, we can click on the export button and export that video, where we can then set our resolution, decide on whether we want to add any watermarks to the video, and also select whether we want to have NVIDIA AI's branding on that video or not. For this one, I'm gonna select 1080p, and no watermarks or branding and hit continue and then, this will, and then this will export the video and I can upload it to a YouTube channel later on. Now before we jump into how NVIDIA AI handles editing your video once it's been generated and tweaking it with subsequent prompts, I first just want to show you a couple of the workflows which we've already seen. So as I mentioned, there are three workflows that we can use in NVIDIA. One for YouTube Shorts, one for a YouTube Explainer, and one for a Recent Events video. Now, these are all really important as these are the types of faceless content that we can use to grow on YouTube. So, for example, if I hit YouTube Shorts, this then short circuits that prompt field and asks me to type in a specific prompt about the video short I want to create. It then has a number of other settings fields, including setting the gender and allowing us to set the voice of the voiceover, selecting whether we want to show or hide our subtitles, and allowing us to select how frequently we use iStock footage for. Now, in video is quite different from some other video machine learning tools you might have seen, things like Runway ML, which will generate video content from absolutely nothing. The problem with these is although they're absolutely amazing, they do produce quite a number of errors, such as having extra digits on hands or having things all blurred together. By using stock footage, NVIDIA is able to trawl a database of over 16 million media files and then find the ones most relevant to your video script and insert them. This is exactly what people do manually when they're creating a faceless YouTube channel. The next workflow is then the YouTube Explainer, and this is probably more in my channel's field of view. With the YouTube Explainer, we can select anything from a 15 second video all the way up to a 15 minute video if we want. We can then type in a simple first part of our prompt, we then might add in some optional creative directions such as the tone of the video or how we want it to run. We can then add in the type of background music we want here too. So this might be something like upbeat or inspirational or cinematic. And we can again set things like the gender of our voiceover and select actual individual voice and decide whether we want a watermark text or how frequently we want to use the iStock video. The final workflow I want to show here is the recent event video. Now, this is really interesting because often the most viral and trending YouTube videos or Instagram reels are the ones that are most timely. For example, if someone's just shot an amazing three-pointer in a basketball game, or there's been some news about the royal family in England, people want to know about it straight away. Think about all of those channels that blew up around the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp court case, or in fact anything that's salacious in the news is likely to go viral pretty quickly. And this is the same for things like memes. Now NVIDIA AI knows this, and so they've created this specific workflow to help you tap into any recent news or any interesting educational articles that you might find on sites like Wikipedia or anything that's informative to your audience. So for example, we could type in a prompt here about a recent event, and then we can actually add in a link to a news site that talks about that event and see what NVIDIA comes up with. Now, one thing I know from my own Instagram channel that works really well is talking about short stories or parables that run for under 60 seconds. And this might also work for a YouTube short too. And we can see lots of channels that do really well by having things like parables or stories from ancient history, which we can then learn from today. 
These engage our audience and really educate people in a short space of time. So for example, I'm gonna use a one minute video prompt here using the YouTube explainer workflow, and I'm typing in the parable of the frog crossing the stream, and we're gonna ask for that to be done in a fun and engaging and easy watching manner. I'm then gonna ask some background music that's easy and upbeat and inspirational, and I'm gonna set my gender to be a female for the voiceover, and I'm gonna have a clear American tone. For my watermark text, I'm just gonna leave that set as my own channel name for the moment, and I'm gonna use iStock normally, and then I'm gonna hit continue. Now you can see it then shows my prompt back to me in the prompt window, and I can check this and edit it as I wish, and then I can go straight ahead and click generate a video. Now, while we're just waiting for this video to generate, one thing I will say that's been super helpful is the support provided by NVIDIA AI. When my team has been using this, if they encountered any problems, they just hit that little chat support button on the bottom right and are then taken through to NVIDIA's help desk and also their Discord server where they can answer pretty much any question. Their YouTube channel is also really great with lots of helpful tips on how to grow on YouTube and other social media platforms that's definitely worth checking out. So now we can look back at our video and we can see that it's used iStock footage to generate our video and provide a voiceover with a story about a frog's journey. Now we can review this and we can do a couple of things to then edit it if we're not happy. Firstly, we can just hit the regenerate button. And what happens here is if I hit regenerate, it will allow me to actually tweak some of the settings that we input earlier, such as my audience, the look and feel and the platform. And then it will regenerate the video and give me a second pass. I can also click on the edit button. And this then produces a couple more features. Firstly, I can actually type into a new prompt window what I want to happen. So for example, I could delete part of the video using a prompt, I could make the scene half as long, or I could do pretty much anything else that I could type in before hitting generate. So for example, I might wanna make this 30 seconds rather than a full minute, and I can do that and hit generate, and then this will shorten the entire video down. And we can see that the video has been shortened and made to now be under one minute. There are a couple of other things I can do here if I want. If I click on the edit script button, it will actually bring up the entire script that's been generated by NVIDIA's AI. And I can individually go in and edit any parts of this script that I like, adding in extra portions, deleting anything, or optimizing in any way that I want. Once I'm happy, I can then click apply changes and head back to my video where any changes are then input into the video itself. Finally, I can actually click on edit media. And this then brings up the video selection tool where I can actually change and move around some of the stock footage that's been used in the video. This gives me a huge amount of control and power over what my audience is seeing on screen. And I can quite quickly swap out any particular story blocks or chunks of video for something else from stock footage, or I can upload my own content from my own library if I've got that readily available. So for example, I might wanna change up part of the video of the frog, and then I search in the stock footage using the term frog, and I can see that this one is a little bit more exciting, and I can just quickly edit it in, and then hit the apply button, and this immediately changes the media in the overall video in the space of a few seconds. Now, if we play this back, we'll see all of my changes in place. Imagine a small frog full of determination, aiming to cross a wide stream. With each leap, the current grows stronger, the journey harder. Just like this little amphibian, we too face challenges, obstacles that seem insurmountable. So what can we learn from our frog friend? Resilience, persistence, the courage to leap even when the current is against us. The frog teaches us that with each leap, we're not just getting closer to the other side of the stream, but also growing stronger, learning, evolving. In a world that's ever-changing, ever-challenging, the frog's journey mirrors our own, we face the currents of change, of adversity, and with each leap we grow, we adapt, we evolve. Remember the frog, her leaps of courage, her unwavering determination. Embrace the leaps in your own life, face the currents, and you too will reach the other side, stronger, wiser, better. So leap, adapt, evolve. Just like the frog crossing the stream, you too can overcome, grow, and thrive. Embrace the journey and leap on. Now, once we've decided upon our final version of the video, as well as being able to export our video in a number of different resolutions and formats, one other thing I just wanna show you really quickly is from NVIDIA AI's beta features, which is all about exporting to the project timeline. This is still in test mode, but it's a really, really cool feature that allows you to actually look at the playhead of the video 
and then change things up in real time. So for example, I can delete out a particular brand watermark if I want. I can change the volume of a voice. I can even get things to fade in and fade out just like you can if you're using a tool like Premiere Pro. This gives us some more advanced features for us to play with before we export. However, for most people, just hitting the export button is probably good enough at this stage. And when we do export our published video, we'll use up some of our credits for the stock footage. Remember, NVIDIA AI uses iStock footage. And so whenever you export a video using iStock footage, you have to pay a royalty fee in the form of a license. And NVIDIA AI uses license credits in order to maintain this. So for example, with this video I'm exporting, it's telling me that I require three license credits and I've got seven remaining. So if I then hit continue, it will export my video and my credits will reset in 29 days. Now, there's a ton of really cool stuff you can do with this. And I'd encourage you to have a play around following the link in the description below. If you're trying to build a faceless YouTube channel this year to generate some passive income, I definitely recommend checking out NVIDIA AI as it's probably the most automated tool complete with workflows that I've seen available out there. Now, if you're looking to find out a little bit more about cool AI tools that I'd recommend, I've put up a link over here for you to dive into a couple of videos that go through a number of absolutely mind-blowing AI tools you won't want to miss. I hope you found this video and walkthrough really helpful and interesting. Thanks so much for watching and for subscribing and I'll catch you again next time. See ya!